Okay, everybody, this is got me my first video on my gas mask and um, helmet stuff. So I have a massive collection of uniforms and all of that stuff. So yeah, I'm going to be doing my gas mask and helmets for today. Maybe canteens for a short thing tomorrow because I literally have two canteens and literally canteens are canteens, so... And uh, I might do a um, American Army patrol cap video and stuff. Something later. I don't know. So here's my two gas masks. Um, we're going to do my GP5 first. Really nice mask. One of the most famous masks, in my opinion. I Well, I think it's one of the most famous masks. 170 sc second scale toy soldier. Yeet. Nope, didn't make the little thing I have them in that time anyway um so gp5 you know soviet soviet era made about soviet like soviet times chernobyl around those times and stuff and then there's the filter gp i believe that translates to a gp5 right there not too sure and there's like some serial numbers down there and so um yeah that's my um gp5 pretty basic design latex the nice thing about the GB5, though, is, unlike my other gas mask, the little things down there, these things right here, the things right there, those, um, will, like, um, defog your, um, lenses, which is really nice, because this one fogs up way too much, because it does, just doesn't have that. So, yeah. There's my GP5. Nice, nice design, all in all. Good filter, or not good filter, but um, good gas mask. I rate the gas mask itself a 10 out of 10. It's a good design. I rate the filter about a 5 out of 10. I, I just don't, it's just not that good, honestly. I, if it was maybe a little more compact, but okay, so I can't remember what this mask is for. What well, its name? Not for I'm going unscripted. So um yeah. Here's the filter. I know this is Polish, but I can't remember what the name of it is. Now I I like the design of this. It's similar to U.S. gas mask. How they have like the um, straps on the back, like the M50 or M40. But so um here's the voice diaphragm. And so um like makes you when you talk, it makes you. It's, it sound clearer and so like because how the gp5 does not have one right there and so um yeah and you uh for a bonus little thing we're gonna do whatever in military surplus i threw into that crate because i have nothing better to do after the helmets so um yeah here's this nice design let me put this on for you Okay, here we go, um, see you can hear me a little more clearly. Um, all in all, I rate the mask itself a 10 out of 10, and the filter 4 out of 10, because it's a lot bigger than the GP5, and you know, it's not as compact, because when a filter is compact, like the M50's filter, not the M40's, though, not, but the M50's filter, like, it's really easier, like, to use and stuff, like, um, that's why I prefer the, um, I take the M50 over, like, um, a mask, like, um, with the nose thingy, or not nose thing, but the th the filter at the bottom, I don't know what you'd call that, but yeah, so, I am an amateur military collector, so, or military stuff collector, so, don't have the best collection in the world, but I don't have the worst, so, so, um, yeah, so, Okay, so we're going to move on to helmets now that that's done. I'm going to start with my... Oh, no. Okay, I'll figure that out in a second. One of these clips fell off of it. I'm going to have to put it back in. Anyway, so here we have the M1 pot helmet. Good old thing, original. Strap in the netting. I rate this one... Eight out of eight out of ten. 
but I give it like three three more points because you know this helmet's a classic. Like, and like I respect this helmet. Like, the U.S. Army used this for so long through Vietnam and also even up to the Gulf War because. They weren't used on a huge wide use in the Gulf War, but they were used by some people who like who never just got their um basket system issued to them yet. Okay. Oh. Give me a second, sorry about this. Here's this helmet. About uh I believe they were replaced. They still issue these out, just not as the main combat helmet. Just more of a backup. Here's my other helmet. I can't. I don't know what this one's called. Um. I can't remember what that. I don't. Even, I never even knew what that one's called because I haven't bothered searching it up yet. I have a really troublesome time fitting this all on the shelf. But so yeah, here's my um Soviet helmet. Oh yeah, I rate this a ten out of ten. Good helmet, great helmet. Kevlar up there, good. Just all I rate this one four out of ten. Plasticky, flimsy, open is falling. Here is my. Soviet helmet. Very nice helmet. Oh, what happened to my main fridge with the heck? Okay, give me a second. Um. Okay. Okay, it's it's working. Okay, I thought I, it, it stopped humming for a second. Never mind. Anyway, um. Soviet helmet, nice, pretty good. Not in that good of condition, though. Because I got it from an eBay seller. It just wasn't in good condition when it arrived. So, it, this helmet wasn't treated very properly. So, But if it was brand new, I'd give it a f mm, rough 4 out of 10. Because it, it's cheap. Not 4 out of 10, maybe. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Because cheap to make good a good decent design and cheap to make so and then now we're going to do a bonus thing i think i have knee pads but i got to remove some stuff like patrol caps and boonie caps yeet is that what all the fellow kids are saying these days 50 cal bullet casing down there i have to remove all these all right let's, let's I can't even remember what I put in this. I think I have the military issued compass for the U.S. Army. Combat gloves. Balaclava issued to the Army. Combat goggles issued to the Army. Now you put night vision things in these. You put like, um, this is where your, all your night vision mounting equipment goes in this. I don't have night vision mounting equipment though. Oh, yeah, I have some chem gloves in here. Give me a second. Let me put these on. I wore my, I have a JSS, and so um, I wore that out for Halloween with my chem, with my chem boots and gloves. And they got so much, so sweaty. Sticky, sticky. Here they are. Pretty good. I should not probably take that off of my teeth. Disgusting. Probably has chemical all over it. Yeah, so there's the bonus thing. Not very exciting. Didn't take as long as I thought. Oh, I forgot GP5 defogging kit. Or thingy. I like pliers go in these for in combat engineers combat gloves. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't show you the gas mask bags yet, so we're going to do that. Forgot about that. This is on top of my mini fridge. Sorry, I've been storing this for months. Or, well, not months, but because I just got a mini fridge. <coughs> you know what? Because I'm also bored again. Um, also, I'm just going to review my. Honestly, I don't know what to review because I don't want to review uniforms right now. I won't pick that up. Just put this with all my stuff. Um. Oh. Duke Patrol caps, yeah. So, let me gather this up. Anyway, so, um, yeah. I'll get the bags. Where's the other bag for that? Okay, um. Give me a second, I'm trying to find the other bag for this one. Oh, nope, that's my camel bag. Okay, nope. Okay, well, it's in my pile somewhere over down here, I think. So, yeah. We're just gonna be reviewing the GP. Oh, my lamp fell. Oh, yes. Technical difficulties. This is getting really boring for you guys, I bet. Sorry. Anyway, so here's the GP5 bag. Now, the GP5 was, like, given out to issue to civilians and were used on a wide extent in the um, Chernobyl nuclear disaster incident. GP5 bag, pockets and stuff. Strap that goes around you. Pretty good. Now, ah, patrol cap. I don't know if you'd classify this as a patrol cap. I don't even know what those are called. I'm trying to think here. But so, um... Here's my, um, ACU patrol cap. And I've heard from people that they don't like the ACU. I don't like the ACU. I think it's really doo-doo. And then that it, it, we got a new um issued out to all of the soldiers. So can I get this up there? Okay, I'm putting it back up there. Here's the new camoed one. Mine's a little damaged though. Too bad because it's the only new camoed patrol cap I have. I got it damaged. I think I I think it was damaged when I got it. Now here's this um. Desert one, I can't, don't know if you'd call this a patrol cap, though. That can go back there, so, um, yeah. So, that's, um, my helmet, my gas mask, my patrol cap clutch. Now, I'm not going to show you all my patrol caps, because there's so many to go through, and then I have this ammo can down here filled with patrol caps. So, yeah. And then, so, um, yeah, that concludes my video at the moment. Like, please. Like, subscribe, or don't. Do I don't care, honestly. This isn't my full-time job, so. Um. Yeah. Okay, bye.